thing about staff surveys is they always tell the truth. Mm -hmm. They're right on. Um, and so I said to the team, look, we've been through this at Vector. Just take the two most important things and we'll work on it next year. And they, the initial reaction, we all say, oh, well, no, that's not the most important thing. Because they would say that. Yeah. But listen, if they say that, work on it. Because they know more about the business than we do, probably. So we've started, we've been through our second one at Transpower and we lifted something like 11%. Wow. So it's starting to, to get there. Um, but we should have done it earlier. You've got to measure. For me, the good organisations are taking those engagement scores. They are breaking them down, right down to yeah. the areas. They are sharing them openly and quickly with, orga with the organisation and they are demanding a response down in, be it in strategic business units or frontline groups in terms of what are we going to do about it. Some do an engagement survey and then afterwards the real work begins, which yeah. is saying, well, what did this really tell us? And they've got enough detailed information behind the high-level scores to, to look down into the areas, and they've got really an action plan that says what management's going to do in response to it, and the survey is just the first step, really. I think there are lots of different tools that you have to paint a picture of um, how your staff feel about you and your organisation and working there. That's a tool. Um, it's a good tool because it's systematised mm. and comparable across time. Mm. Um, the open forum discussions that I run with staff is probably the primary tool that yeah. I use. I encourage staff to communicate directly with me, you know, by email, whatever, whatever suits them. Um, you, you know, you want open channels of communication back to you. You want people telling you what they think and being honest about that and not afraid, you know, to tell you what they think.